Hey everyone, this is Amy with Pretty Presets. Um, I'm going to do hopefully a quick video here. I tend to talk a little bit, so some things are not as quick as I want them to be. Um, I did a video earlier and I um, it was with the family and I mentioned in the post how I had inverted the mask. And that was something new to me. I had never done that before. And so there's a couple of people in the comments that um, were wondering what that was. And so I'm going to show you what that is and how it works. It's really quite genius, perfectly, um, to be perfectly honest, because it allows you to make adjustments to certain parts of the image without affecting the image as a whole which is great. And so I chose this image right here because, you know, it's got all this great, um, you know, greenery going on back here. And then we've got this beautiful mom to be right here. Well, say there's certain parts of her that maybe I want the, um, the clarity to be lower or I want to have like a softer effect on her but I don't want that for this back here. So that would be, you know, a reason to use the, um, the invert mask. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose a preset. I'm going to do milk and honey. And then I'm going to come up here to my radio filter. I'm going to click on that. Oops, I was already in it. So now I have to click on it again because I just closed it. So I am going to bring the filter around her and I'm still like totally new to doing these so I still have to kind of play and learn like what the um, the right feathering should be because it's not something that I'm able to like look at yet and know, okay, this is about the right size, this is the right feather here, because uh, like I said, I'm still pretty new to doing this. So we're going to, um, actually, let me, what we're going to do first is we're going to invert the mask because I want to, I want to edit her first and do some things to her. So we're going to come down here. If I were to see right here where it says invert mask, that's not clicked right now. So whatever edits I was going to do would be to the area. Actually, let's go ahead and do this we'll, since we're already here. We'll do this right now. We'll edit the scenery first and make whatever adjustments we want here. And so when you, if you've never used the radio filter, you'll notice that it kind of like, it's right now, she's like in a bubble. So she's being protected. Whatever we're doing over here is going to affect all of this area, but not her. So it's very different. The radio filter is very different than using the graduated filter. So keep that in mind. Um, let's... I'm going to increase the clarity there, or do we want to decrease it now? I don't usually decrease clarity when we're talking about our, you know, bushes and trees and stuff like that. I think it's usually good to um, keep those there. I just wanted to, and I'm just kind of playing around right now. I'm just doing what looks good to my eye so and this a lot of times is <laughs> quite honestly how I may end up editing something sometimes is I will it's like th that changed the whole color on the on the green so I will so if we go way up high like this to me that just looks very neon green and if we come down like this then I think it takes too much of the color away. So we're gonna we're gonna find a nice balance in there. I don't like it that cool. I usually am more I like the warmer image.
inches. I'm even going to see if I want to keep this. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep it. So now what's going to happen is, so we've got all this right here. Now I'm going to hit invert mask. And now I can just edit her. So, so you don't want to go all the way down here for the feather because then it will look like this really harsh mess, like a picture frame, and she won't blend in very well to everything else, and we don't want that. So we want to keep a nice feather going on there so that she blends in. So I always like a little bit more. Exposure there. I won't bring the highlights. Bring the highlights back down. This is where we're going to bring the clarity down a little bit. Have her be nice and soft there. Check our shadows. We're good there. And then our saturation. There's really not a whole lot of color going on here, but I'm going to give you a tip. Because she's wearing this white dress, you'll hear me oftentimes saying, take your um, saturation of a color and move it to the left, and then your luminance a little bit to the right. I say that a lot because whenever someone is wearing white, it tends to pick up the color of the blue sky. So there tends to be a blue tint to a white dress, or you know, even if there's like a family wearing a bunch of white shirts um, on the beach. And so I always want to get rid of that. So, um, but I don't want to get rid of the color in her skin at the same time. So I think I'm going to leave that there and then I'll take care of anything in there that I need to in when I am. Okay, so let's see how that looks. I like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go up here and then I can make some more edits here. So the photo that I had earlier that I did this with was a lot easier because we had this family here that was super, super dark and then a really, uh, a really well lit background. Um, but I hope that you can see the changes that it made and just what you do with it what you do with the radio filter. So, but that's it. I don't think that there's really um, too much else that I would change in here. I don't even know that I would put, I'm, you know, when it comes to the, uh, the bokeh in the new set, I'm really, really particular about if I would use any of these on a set like this because I don't feel like they would be natural in here. Like they wouldn't really fit what the picture, what's going on in the picture. Um, there may be a, let's see, there may be a flare or something we've got in here that, that would fit well. I'm kind of checking these out. Um, but you know, sometimes I think that it's nice just to have a photo that looks really good without having all the extra stuff that you can add into it because I think it becomes too easy to just, you know, put a whole bunch of extra stuff just because you have it. Sometimes I think we need to remember that this is the natural light that was available and that was used. Um, one thing that I do want to do is I want to show you what the picture 
looked like before. So that's how it was before. It was very green and I like it a lot more now with the warm tones to it. So um, that is how we use the radio filters with an inverted mask and I hope you've learned something new and now you can go off and create something pretty.